What is going on guys? We are back. Road to 300 kilos. Episode 32. Uh, it's a Sunday. Not many people at the gym. Figure I'd try out another mic'd up session. Bad news. My freaking at work, I pinched. I don't know if you can see this. I pinched in the crease of my thumb and my finger. And it doesn't hurt super bad, but I know, dude, literally, literally right where the freaking bar goes for like snatching and clean and jerk, that dang, that blister is, is right there. And uh, then I think if I do some, if I do Olympic weightlifting today, I know that thing's gonna pop and I know it's gonna hurt like a SOB. So, you know, sorry for the little bit you know, gruesome looking stuff, but just explaining what my kind of thinking is today. And I think I kind of just want to murder my legs anyway. So, and I think I haven't been doing a lot of front squatting lately, but instead of just actually doing regular front squatting, I think I might do some zombie squats. I really like zombie squats. I remember, so last, uh, two years ago, I had, I had a pretty bad hand injury and I couldn't really do a lot of like actual front squatting or, or weightlifting in general. So I did a ton of uh, zombie squats and those ended up going really well. I think I zombie squatted like 160, 165, something like that. And they're just kind of fun. They're, they're a more well-rounded exercise. I, I mean, they work out my, they work out my core a lot more, your upper back a lot more, like everything. And I think I might try those today. I don't know what kind of like volume I want to do. I mean, I, hell, I could even do them in these flat shoes maybe. We'll see. I don't know. Let me know if you guys have done zombie squats in the past. Uh, I think they're a lot of fun. I was thinking about, I really want to murder my legs. Like, I want to be sore. Uh, maybe do, like, man, I want to do, I was thinking 10 sets of 5 or 5 sets of 10, maybe. That'd be crazy, huh? Sorry, I'm just kind of, this isn't the most planned out video. Then again, none of mine ever are. I'm just kind of thinking what I want to do. I almost wish this was live and people were just telling me, hey, do five by 10. I'd be like, all right, cool. That's what we're doing. So, just kind of going to stretch, warm up. Do some of these. Hiya, 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 hiya. My damn, my right adductor right here, my like hip flexor or groin or something has been kind of feeling weird lately the past couple times I've lifted, which is kind of weird because I haven't been lifting a whole lot. It's kind of annoying. Like this shouldn't feel like this. Ooh. I don't know, I might just make this a really long form video. Mic'd up. Not a ton of editing involved. Just make it kind of raw. Hey, this is what I'm doing. You know what I mean? I'm gonna put the shoes on. I like I like lifting in the shoes or whatever. It's part of the sport, so. And then of course I'll take this hoodie off. I don't know where you guys are in the world, but it is cold where I am at. I think if you're in the United States, it's it's cold in most places. It's like high of 20 degrees today. I'm gonna get down to like single digits for the next couple days. Drip those taps. Drip. Make sure your faucets are dripping at night and throughout the day. That's for sure. Don't want your pipes to freeze and bust. Let me take this hoodie off real quick. <laughs> oh, 
All right. Dang, my right hip flexor, man. I'm telling you. Kind of weird. It'd be all right though. If I do a lot of volume, I'm not gonna be doing a lot of a lot of weight. That's for sure. Yeah, like at the bottom, as soon as I hit the bottom. Dang. I think hopefully it'll get better as I as I put weight on and keep warming up. I'm really trying to stretch it out right now. It's like right. It's like right on the inside of my quad groin hip flexor area. Oh, that feels, I feel pretty good. I'm just really trying to warm up this squat position. All right, fuck it, let's throw on some weight. Yeah, I'm really, it kind of sucks that my, I got that blister. I pinched myself in between two pieces of metal at work yesterday. It felt really, really good. That's sarcasm, if you couldn't tell. All right, let's see how 70 feels. Let's do five or six. Not too bad. Might need the old inhaler. Oh yeah. PEDs. I work outside a lot and in this cold, kind of makes my asthma kick up, rear its ugly head when I'm working outside in the cold all day. Do another set at 70. Just to make sure I'm feeling good. Now what, 90? Screw it. Got my synthwave music playing in the background. My synthwave playlist. Cyberpunk, retro wave, whatever you want to call it. Nice and upbeat. Keep the vibes high, you know what I'm saying? All right, I need to decide what kind of volume I want to do, Jesus. I 
let's do sets of five. I don't know how many sets I want to do. We'll, we'll decide. At least five or six. Then see how the old, uh, see how the body feels. I haven't been doing a lot of volume lately, so it's not going to take much to definitely elicit some response. Oh yeah. And what, 110? Yeah, we'll go to 110, why not? Put some collars on. We'll see how 110 feels and then stop at the stop there probably and just do sets of five or six there. I'll grab some collars. I don't think I want to have a belt. I don't think I want to wear a belt this time for zombie squats because the whole point is, you know, working out the core and stuff, so. Sometimes might rely on the belt a little too much. Getting it like pretty tight and letting that do the bracing for me instead of actually practicing and doing the bracing myself. So, we'll see how this 110 feels. Jesus, the plates over there fell over, making noise, scared me. All right, I don't wanna to take too much rest. Sorry, I gotta burp a little bit, this damn pre-workout. Oh yeah, there we go, not too bad. Yeah, I think that might be a pretty good weight, at least for a couple sets. If the next set feels better, we can go up. Didn't feel bad, but it's definitely hard. Not hard, hard's not the right word. I think the right idea is just the fact that I'm out of fucking shape right now when it comes to heavy weight training. I don't think I'm out of shape. It's just there's a certain, there's a different meaning to it when you're talking about being in shape for weightlifting. So. Let me know how you guys like the long form mic'd up videos. They're definitely a little bit different. They're definitely, I think they're more my vibe, but you know, sometimes they might be a little too long to actually watch. Watch. And voice crack. Uh, but I think they're more, they're, they're a little bit more chill and kind of the vibe I'm going for you know go watch these longer videos while you eat or while you drive to the gym or something that'd be cool just kind of talking about life and working out and stuff 
just let me know. I think it's nice to like sprinkle them in. Maybe not make every video like this, obviously, but sprinkle them in here and there every every week or two, every couple weeks. So, all right, let's do another set. Fuck it. Yeah, this definitely feels lighter already on the shoulders. Oh yeah. <sighs> Definitely felt better. <sighs> Ooh, give me a second to catch my breath here. It's a lot of bracing. And learning how to breathe while you're bracing is something definitely gotta do. I don't know if I want to go up or not. I think that that feels easy on the legs. Like I have surplus of leg strength for that, but I haven't been doing a lot of front rack stuff and I think that's the limiting factor. So I might stay here. I think that would definitely be the smart thing to do. That was my second set already. So we can do another set of, another set of, another couple sets, five sets maybe. Three more sets. I know I said a couple, and I know I said I wanted to do maybe 10 sets of five. But I don't know about that. Jesus Christ. That's what I like about zombie squats. These are definitely, definitely more of a whole body workout. Like everything's working. Obviously not like pressing. Like I'm not, you know, my pecs aren't working, like pushing, but everything's working to like, together as one unit, which is kind of nice. I think that's very uh, useful in any type of training that you're do that you're gonna be doing. And just in life, it's gonna get your whole body strong up together as one. Hopefully that makes sense, and that's just not some fucking bro science, but it makes sense to me. That's what I'm going to keep telling myself. So hopefully that placebo kicks in and that's what it does. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. I don't know if you guys can hear the music in the background, but it is fire. I think this is by uh, Carpenter Brute. If you guys have ever listened to that. No, this is by uh, Starcadian. Duh. But you know, I listen to like Star, you know, it's just a, one genre that I listen to. I listen to a bunch of different types of music. I was on a huge metal kick for a couple years, for a few years, a lot of Gojira and Mastodon and, you know, things like that, between the Barry and me, uh, Trivium, and then here lately, it's just, I, I listen to a lot of metal, too much, a lot of metal for, for a long time, and it's nice to switch it up, I've been listening to a lot of this synth wave and retro wave and stuff, and it's been nice, just a different, it's kind of that same upbeat vibe, but not quite as aggressive and, you know, getting older not so angsty anymore so now I just listen to fucking 80s music <laughs> alright another set another set gotta make sure you're like lined up good Every time I set the bar down, and when it's on my front rack, it's like, I've had this weird pinched nerve or something on the left side of the base of my neck <laughs> for a while now. Ever since I did, ever since I maxed out my push press 
months ago we're talking months ago three or four months ago probably even more yeah, it's got to be like four months ago or more anyway ever since that day my I guess from I guess from just pushing and like like shooting my head back I've done something to the back to my, the base of my neck back here to where in the zombie squats front squats anything like that where like there's a bar in front of me and you know the physics of it is trying to like kind of pull you forward because it's in front of you it's in front of your center of gravity whenever I it's just like it bothers the back of my neck like when I set that bar down in the rack I feel it back there it's kind of it's kind of hard to describe but it's kind of annoying that's why I set it down really easily that time just to see what it did it doesn't hurt super bad it's just like it's just like huh what the heck I get a lot of those what the heck injuries <laughs> where like I can lift through it same thing with this, this same thing with this forearm thing that I've been talking about for months I can lift through it but it's kind of nags at you Whew. so we'll do a couple more sets and then maybe go in the back do some kind of bodybuilding see what kind of things I can get into without popping this damn blister I know it's a pussy excuse excuse my French but uh I don't want to pop it. I can always, you can always do something else. So we do. There's other ways to work out. That's for sure. Whew! I talk a lot, don't I? Jesus Christ! I'm just here by myself. Got this weird-ass looking tripod camera staring at me as I'm talking to myself. Hopefully, I'm recording. Hopefully, it's still recording. <laughs> Better go check. Oh yeah, we're still recording. 22 minutes. Damn. I guess that's not bad for already doing a few sets and warming up, you know. I'm talking to you idiots. He he he. Oh. Alright, fine. I'll do another set. Jesus. Quit yelling at me. Get another breath. Okay. Not too bad. I feel I kind of, right here in my hip line, my waistline in the back there on my right side, I kind of feel it in the bottom. It's probably, you guys notice how it's the same side as that hip flexor that I'm complaining about? I'm sure it's all connected. In fact, I know it is. I'll do another couple sets, probably two more sets. Let's do six sets of five. That sounds good. Now I might go do some bodybuilding, I might not. I need to do some, some type of pull-ups or pull-downs. My lats are super weak, so I'm always trying to hit those a little bit. I've seen a lot of people, not a lot of people, but I've seen some people online doing just like one rep pull-ups, but like as, you know, as explosive and as fast as you can make them. And that'll transition to being able to do more pull-ups. So we might try that. Like literally like 10 sets of just one rep fast. We'll see how that feels on the old blister. It's just one rep, so surely I can do surely I can do some without popping it.
Oh. That damn neck part, that neck, that weird neck thing, it's kind of annoying, I feel it. It's when the, uh, I don't feel it right now, but like, when I, when, when the bar is coming off of my shoulders, I feel it, like that pressure release makes it feel weird. So there's something going on. Oh well, fuck it. God dang. Did you guys hear my knee pop on that one? Sheesh. That was a tough set. Yeah, my back, it's all connected to that hip flexor. Sorry, I don't know why I'm yelling, I have a mic on. But uh, at the bottom and at the top, when I squeeze and finish my, my standing, you know, finish up, finish the full rep and stand up completely, I feel it, it's kind of weird. Just a little aggravation. My body's not used to lifting right now. <laughs> that sucks. Ooh, a little quiet moment here, sorry. I've been talking for 25 minutes straight. I'm just trying to gather up the mental mental fortitude and energy to do this last set. Hopefully I'll be sore. I think I would be. I think this is doing something. I mean, it's pretty light. It's like, I don't know what 110 divided by 180 is. That's my max front squat. It's gotta be like 60% or something. Sixty-five percent, probably. So it's light, but obviously a zombie squad is a little bit of a different beast. <sighs> All right, quit crying about it. Let's do it. How you attack a last set. It's a little too easy though, <laughs> if I'm being honest. But we're putting in work, that's okay. I'm just getting back into the swing of things. There's no reason to be lifting super heavy right now. Especially with, sorry, I'm breathing like a fucking hog. Definitely don't need to be lifting heavy, especially with some of these weird feelings that I'm having with the back and the hip flexor and the neck. I doubt anybody's still watching this far in the video though. So I'm not sorry for breathing like a hog. I'm freaking tired. Well, what's making me breathe harder, I can tell you is I held my breath for, I braced for pretty much that whole set, which I had not been doing the sets prior, but I wanted to just go, go, go. So the leg strength is still, is still pretty good. I think a few weeks of some volume 
and that leg strength will bump back up quite a bit. So now we gotta decide, gotta decide what we wanna do for the rest of this session. I know what I wanna do, I just wanna just go home. But we ain't doing that, team, because we're here. And what the hell am I going to do at home? Watch some football like a lazy bum? Hell no. We can do that once we've earned it. And right now, we haven't earned it. So that'll be it for this section of the video. Let's go in the back and figure out what I'm going to do. All right, we made it to the back. I think I'm gonna do some shoulder, some Z press, which is basically just shoulder press, but sitting on the ground, like an L. Sitting, I'm not an L, I am an L. I'm not an L. I'm sitting here and trying to, it's, a, it's also kind of a dynamic core exercise too, but obviously it's more of a shoulder exercise, but it's nice to throw in some extra core work in there too. So I'll probably do sets of this, super set with, some behind like some skull crushers with the rope so that's what we'll do and i'm going to do suicide grip kind of that way i'm not bothering that damn blister so let's get into it i got 45s right now probably just two sets of eight or ten I think that's six. I don't know. It's not the most pleasant thing in the world, suicide grip, but it's what we gotta do. It's what we gotta do. Oh, and then do some some of this number. Really get a good stretch. Oh yeah, god dang, that's a tough superset right there, might have to go down a little bit down and weight on that, on the rope. And then, so we'll do this, I'm sorry I'm getting a drink of water right now, and then do a few sets of this, and then probably just finish off with some, some lat pull downs and call it a day. Just getting back into the swing of things, don't need to kill myself. <sighs> Solid like four exercises, but with good intensity and get nice and tired just from doing that. Okay, I don't like taking a ton of rest. I like keeping my heart rate up when I'm doing these kind of just bodybuilding stuff. Just keep my heart rate up. Take like a minute rest and then go at it. I think that was 10 either way it was uh it was working i know that jesus see that's kind of the downfall of not a ton of rest is it's fucking hard <laughs> all right 10 here bang bang it's crazy how fast 
these catch up to you like the first four or five i'm like oh yeah and then Oh my gosh that's nice that's a good burn right there this last set's about to be a biatch i think with this last set we can shoot for eight and if i get more i'll be happy that'd be good but with eight i'll be happy so we'll take a little bit of a rest here definitely need it I think this pinch has, this blister has swelled up a little bit since I've been in here. I don't know. It's really an annoying spot though, right in that webbing. It doesn't hurt. It's just I don't want to. I don't want to make it hurt, and I don't want to pop it. And then I got to clean up a bunch of goddamn blood. <sighs> All right. Fine. I hear you guys, I hear it. I kind of feel like I have to burp. I would like to. Before I start, come on. All right, whatever, fuck you. Eight. Like I said, that was a nice struggle though. That's what we want. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I was laughing that whole time because it's just funny feeling. <laughs> it's like the first initial cheating part of the thing was easy but then as soon as I try to extend it's like fuck <sighs> okay the lat pull downs we'll see how that feels is that a good shot? I don't fucking know who cares looks good enough I don't know what weight Let's see what 160 feels like. Bump that up a little bit. We'll go suicide's grip again. Solid. Ten. Nice and nice and controlled. Can't complain. I mean I can. I'm a weak little biatch. But <sighs> Jesus, we got some strong mother effers in here. This is a PR board and right now I got a couple guys that got a a 405 bench, 425, 
600 debt uh, squad. That's what we're shooting for. That'd be nice. Slow going though, but that's okay. I'm young, got plenty of time. Plenty of time. Sorry, I'm just pacing back and forth at this point. Yeah, definitely let me know how you like it. If, if anybody is this far in the video, I first of all, I appreciate it. And also, let me know how you liking it. You are liking it, not how, you, how you're liking it. Definitely tougher, but solid. A little bit of a, I'm doing a little bit of a cheat, but that's okay. Whew. One more set, and then we'll call it a day. I think that's like an hour session on a Sunday. Not too bad. I barely wanted to come. I figure I better. I feel like a, I feel like a bum if I didn't. So sorry, I'm breathing, burping, belching, dying. I think in the next couple weeks, though, guys, definitely be back in the gym more consistently because we're finally getting caught up with work, with a bunch of these big jobs, and once that's ha once that happens, we'll be good. We had a job or two there. We had one big job that took like a month and that's why I haven't been in super consistently because I'm walking around a lot outside and swinging a hammer and carrying heavy stuff. It's not a hard job, but it accumulates, that's for sure. And just super busy trying to run a business. I'm vice president of a small company, so just a lot on the mind and on the body and Sometimes Jim has to take a little step back, and that's okay. All you gotta do is know that I'm gonna be back in, though. That's for sure. But that's the nice thing about my job too is even if I don't come in the gym, I'm still staying. I'm staying very, very active and fit. So it's okay. All right, that's enough of this bullshit. Let's do this last set and get the hell out of here. What do you say? It wasn't a great last rep, was it? Fuck. A little bit better. All right, guys. Thanks. Appreciate it. I'm signing off. I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my day. You all do the same, okay? I will catch you on the next one. Peace.